The Fast and the Furious is at its best when Vin Diesel sincerely believes that he's making an incredible film and everybody else around him is just there for the money. And that is what Fast X delivers. <laughs> Fast X, the beginning of the end. <laughs> the beginning of the trilogy that is going to conclude the Fast Saga. That is what this is but on a serious note this actually does feel kind of like the avengers infinity war of the fast and the furious in the sense that pretty much like everybody that you've ever seen in one of these movies is in this you know and they're like kind of off dealing with the threat in a different part of the world for pretty much the entire movie it it it, it actually does feel like avengers infinity war and it it in like Avengers Infinity War, it actually does feel like a part one movie that is going to continue in Fast 11. Um, kind of a shame that they couldn't end it with Fast X. They probably should have <laughs> planned it out because we do not need these 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 many movies, this many movies. <laughs> um, but either way, I, I I did actually enjoy this movie. I think that the action, first of all, is genuinely good it's genuinely exciting i think there are some genuinely creative moments i don't think it ever at least for fast and furious standards i don't think it ever jumps the shark <laughs> the way that um fast nine did and i don't even hate fast nine if i'm being completely honest with you my listen my <laughs> my standards for fast and the furious are pretty low <laughs> but fast x is definitely better than fast nine for the people that didn't like fast nine that thought that that movie did go too far um yeah, the action is genuinely exciting. And like I said before, Fast and the Furious, it when it's good, it rides that line between stupid action, terrible dialogue, but with like some genuine sincerity. It it rides that perfect line, right? To to where it's like this isn't good. Everybody acknowledges that it's not good, but it just kind of works. And I think Fast X gets back to that sort of just perfect line that it that it rides. You know, I would argue back to like Fast Eight. I still don't think it's quite. I don't. I still don't think it's as good as like Fast Five, Six, and Seven. But we're back at Fast Eight territory where they 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 stabilize the ship a bit. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I, I quite enjoyed it. Um, I, I think that the, the big criticism that I would give it is the, the comedy to be fair is like terrible at some points. Like, I, um, like, <laughs> like ludicrous and what's his name? Uh, Tyrese Gibson. Yeah. Tyrese Gibson. I swear they used to be funny. Like I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gaslighting myself into thinking they used to be funny in these movies. They're just everything they do completely falls flat in this one. <laughs> it is it is embarrassing <laughs> what they do. Um I will say I uh Han is back and I don't I don't feel like they use Han enough. Like Han is like my favorite Fast and the Furious character. I wanted to see more Han. Um I think we'll see him more in the next one, hopefully, but that, that, that's uh, I, we could have used more Han, obviously. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I, I mean, there's not really much else to say. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Fast and the Furious movie. I think if you've enjoyed Fast and the Furious movies before and you know what you're getting into, then this can be enjoyable for you. But it is by no means a good movie, but I think it is a fun movie. So, yeah, let me know what you think if you've seen it in the comments down below. And, uh... Go spend time with your family because that is, of course, what is most important.